Wow, I'm not sure if this is a, if I've just walked into another country. Literally just changed up big time. So we're basically literally wow. selling out right, the whole ice cream stand here. Yeah. Enjoy your ice cream. Thank you so you're welcome, you're welcome. Only this is the nicest watermelon juice I've ever had. Usually they're very, very watery, but this one is just pure, pure juice and sweet. Wow. Good afternoon guys and welcome back to another video here in the beautiful country of Philippines and today specifically we are over in a Saturday market here in the area of Salcedo and actually the great thing is because it's around Christmas time I heard they're gonna have a lot of Christmas gatherings here and some great things to do all Christmassy so looking forward to explore this market as you can see today I'm on my own because Dace is a little bit tired today so she's taken a little break to enjoy the Saturday for herself while I'm here vlogging away in this beautiful market. But so far guys, this area is super cool. It's like in the heart of Makati and it's like a little garden inside. So anyway guys, let's explore this place and let me show you around this market and see what weird and wonderful things. Hello my friends. Oh, we've got ice cream, let's have a look. I was about to say what weird and wonderful things we can find. Well, how are you man? Uh, ice cream, I just, I just arrived. So I'm gonna be walking and then I'll come and get some. Yeah, to cool down, yeah. Which ice cream is this? Ice cream, sir. Sugar cone. Sugar cone, sir. Ah. The best is sir. Okay, I'll come back for it. Yeah, come back I'll come back. Yeah, thank you, my friend. See you. All right, let's uh, let's. I'll probably come back for the ice cream a bit little bit later on because it's literally just walked in, so I don't want to be carrying around too many things at once. But anyway, let's see what we're gonna find. Welcome to the Philippines, a country that has been voted one of the friendliest countries in the world, a country in the southeast of Asia with a huge population of 113 million people, a country full of beautiful landscapes that are visited by millions around the world. The Philippines consists of over 7,640 islands of which 2,000 are inhabited. Guys, you're gonna kind of find all types of things here from food, from arts and crafts, as well as a lot of obviously local uh, Filipino type of dishes. However, one thing I did hear that you'll find here is some good old chocolate. Got some even chocolate. Hi guys, how are you? Got some natural chocolate here. Is this from the Philippines? Yes, good out. Oh, very nice. How is it not melting in this hot weather? Sir? How is the chocolate not melting? It's so hot. Hot. Not so fast. Ah, okay. All right, very nice. I'll come and grab some later. Thank you. So what I want to look for here, guys, is potentially we're actually creating something. So I want to show you guys the process of that being created. Oh, it's such a hot day here, guys. Even though, oh, what's the time actually? It is one o'clock, so probably the hottest time of the day. And let's see what we're going to find. Puto rice. Well, we literally got all types of things here from food to drinks but mainly it seems like more of like a food market um, nothing kind of too extensive here in terms of what I was expecting alright guys I've just stumbled across this place here it looks like they're cooking something really interesting on the fire here hi guys how are you this looks really interesting what is this omelette what's the name Bibinka. Uh, okay. With one fresh egg, salted egg. Wow, the way they're cooking it is super interesting. So they've got like a barbecue looking stove on top of here. Hi, how are you? Uh, what is this? Like an omelette type of thing? It's a rice cream. Ice cream? Yeah, it's a sweet. Wow. Egg, salted egg, rice. Okay. Can I, uh, can I make one? Yeah. Wow, so I thought this was like an omelette. Overall, it's actually like an ice cream. Let's see how we're gonna do this. Gonna show us the process. So this is the this yeah. egg. Yeah. This is this salt is this already made? Yeah. Uh, can can I see one fresh one? Like how how you do it from the beginning? Here's the boss. Just making butter, almost 
Okay. Let's just, let's just wait this time. Okay, we'll when it finishes, there. we'll get one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, cool. What's all of this stuff here? Like, this is... Do you, do you put that inside or separate? Separate. Separate. Can I, um, can I get a juice as well? Yeah. Uh, let's go for... Watermelon, watermelon, Let's go for a watermelon with no ice, please. This ice? No ice, yeah. So let's get a fresh watermelon juice as well, guys, to freshen up because it is absolutely roasting around here. So guys, as you can see, they've got loads of... Hi! So they got some melon, they got oh Dalan Ma, I think that's uh, like a lime. And Buku. Buku is what's that? Oh, I'm not sure what that one is. Thank you so much. We got our fresh juice. Thank you. Alright. Let's try this juice. Thank you. There we go. We got it, we got it, we got it. All right, let's try this juice, guys. See how it's tasting. Mmm. Wow. This is amazing. It's got all the bits inside. Wow. It's the real fruit. Guys, you can literally taste all the watermelon bits inside. This is the nicest watermelon juice I've ever had. Usually they're very, very watery, but this one is just pure, pure juice and sweet. Wow. This is incredible. Mm. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you the process of how they make this basically omelette looking thing. Galapong. So they get the egg, they put it in there. And there it is, he whisks it. Oh, look at that. And put it in some banana leaf. Inside. Very nice. Look at that, she's putting some, uh, what's this one? Golden egg. Which one? Golden egg. Golden egg. Golden. Ah, oh, I don't know what that is. I've never seen that before. Wow. So how long do you leave it inside this? Good, that's it? Wow, then that's the finished product. <laughs> wow, look how puffy it is. It's really, really puffy. So, guys, one great thing you'll find here. Oh, let's come back to our friends here. How are you guys? Hi. I'm fine. You're fine? What are you selling here? Um, what do you guys have? Um, durian. Durian. Is this the smelly durian. fruit? Yes. Is Avocado. Avocado. Roasted oh, chestnuts. Chestnuts. Oh, you only got served. Are they roasted already? Oh, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. What else do you guys have? Ah, what about these? This is lychee, right? No, rambutan, sir. Rambutan. rambutan. Okay. Maybe we'll get some rambutan. Okay. Let's try. Let's try some of these. Just one. We'll try one. We'll try one, and I'll buy some chestnuts. Okay. Yeah. Let's try some chestnuts. Chestnuts? Yes, yeah. For kilo, 150. Yeah, something less, less, something small. Okay, 100. 50, 50 is enough. Yeah. 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 Alright, guys, we're gonna get some uh, roasted chestnuts here with our guys and uh, see how they're gonna taste. Langoustine. Langoustine, oh, it's enough. This is enough for me. <laughs> on a diet. We're on a diet, yeah. <laughs> so, are you guys here every Saturday? Yeah, every Saturday. Okay, there you go. Try these chestnuts. Thank you so much. Huh? Oh, so they're fresh. Okay. Oh, too hot. Too hot. Okay, I'll wait till they cool down. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. See you. Bye. 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 All right. Let's see what else we'll find here in this weird and wonderful market. Uh, not much going on, to be honest with you. Alright guys, I saw these guys when I initially came in and it's the famous ice cream sugar cone people. Hello, my Hello guys, we are back. Hi my friend. How are you guys? Welcome back my friend. Thank you, thank you. Well are you guys gonna show me here then? So we have a sugar cane small. No more small enough, friend. Very small. Alright, okay, no no cone, maybe just in a cup. Ah, only cup. Yeah. How many my friend? Just one please. One? Yeah. Have a look. 
Nice day, my friend. Wow. Today, yes, how? my friend. How are you? Good. What's your name? My name is Dan Lloyd. Bin Laden. What's that? Dan Lloyd. Dan Lloyd. And um, Maluya. Maluya. Nice name. <laughs> nice it's name, Maluya. Maluya. They just made it up. They made the name up now. Yeah. <laughs> what about you guys? What's your name? My name is Gilbert. Clifford? Gilbert. Gilford. Gilford yeah. and JR. 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 Yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Are you? Who, who are you shouting out? Hey. Baluyon. Who's Baluyon? You are. Ah. Guys, give a big shout out to Baluyon over there. He's a famous, famous uh, influencer. My name is Dan Lloyd. Dan Lloyd. Dan Lloyd. Yeah, Dan Lloyd. Thank you, my friend. Dan Lloyd Goose. All right, let's 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 have an ice cream with our friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Dan Lloyd Pulube. Dan Lloyd Pulube. You want yeah. an ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> You want? You want ice cream? <laughs> one, one ice cream for them, please. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. One. Let's get the security an ice cream. Door. It's really hot here, so they need an ice cream. Right. Yad. 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 You know, you know, day, daytime, backwards. Yad. Ah, yad. Day, backwards. Yad. Y A D. Y A D. Yeah, yeah. Y A D. Yeah. 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 Only two, sir. Yeah. Only two. Well, for them. Yeah. For, for yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want uh, one? Uh, you want one? Let's, one, one? let's try this. Ice cream. Mmm. Uh, oh, one for the ladies? Yeah. <laughs> ladies, they want ice cream? <laughs> Alright, ice cream for everyone. We get ice cream for everyone here in the market. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. It's very nice. Yeah. What flavor is it? Strawberry, my friend. Strawberry, Strawberry well. mango, and ubi. Made Salami from sugarcane, yeah? <laughs> Yeah. All right, so we're getting oh. everyone ice cream here, guys. Oh. Spending uh, the next few minutes here. Two only. Yeah, one for them, one for them. Yeah. One you want? for them, one for them. Yeah. Then, 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 then. Okay. All right, guys, so we've got some strawberry here, we've got some lemon, and it's all made out of sugar cane, so natural yeah, sweetness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, did Riyadh? You're welcome. Yeah. All right. This is tasting really good guys, I'm not going to lie. I think we've got them loads of uh, customers to actually join. When you get the commotion, everyone just naturally comes over. Mmm, this tastes good. Only three? Yeah, three. Anyone else? You want ice cream? No. Ice cream? Yeah. No? Yes? Yeah. yeah. Okay, one for the ladies. How about the ladies? That's me? Yeah, that's me. Wow. That's easy. Yeah. That's easy. That's easy. That's Yes, yes, yes. Mingo, Yes, that's me, my friend. Yeah. Okay, that's me. Yeah. 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 All right, guys, so we've just got ice cream for all the security here. Our brother here, remind us your name. Your name? Baluyon. 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 And you are? Your name? Your name? Jograd. Jograd. Lloyd Pulube. Dan Lloyd. And you guys all from Manila? Yes, yeah. from Manila. From Manila, yeah? From Manila. Nice. <laughs> so you guys are like the muscle, the muscle of the, of the team, yeah? Nice. Look at this guy, so when I arrived, there wasn't that many people and now a bit of commotion, we've got a big queue, everyone is coming, enjoying the ice cream. Are you guys enjoying the ice cream? It's nice? Cheers guys. Cheers. 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 You're welcome. Such friendly people here guys. Throw the die out the window guys. That's Albin, Albin Baliko. Albin Baliko. Alvin, come say hi, Alvin. Alvin, guys, run away. They're all, they're all uh, mocking their colleagues. Guys, come and come and say hi. Come to say hi. Come over. No, we're basically literally selling out the whole ice cream stand here. Cheers, guys. Hey, this one more, my beautiful lady. Oh my God, how many ladies do you have? Three. You, how many wives does he have? Three wives? <laughs> He's got three wives. He's the player. Six wives. He's got, so we've got uh, Dan Lloyd over there. He's basically the player. Every second he's introducing me to one of his wives. So this is all your wife? He's my friend, my friend. Oh, your friend. Okay. 
Enjoy your ice cream. You You're welcome, you're welcome. Play me by the dinner. What, what flavour have you got there, guys? What flavour uh, is this? We capture uh, mango. Mango? And, and strawberry. And strawberry, yeah, okay. Yeah, nice. What's your name? I'm Lisa, sir. Lisa? Lisa. Lisa? Juvini. Juvini. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Are you enjoying the market? Of course. Yeah. Do, you guys, do you guys work here as well? Yeah. Yes, what? I work from a very nice We sell condominium stores. Condominiums, yes, okay. Sir. What what type? Like what what like uh, flowers or what do you sell? Sorry. Um, condominiums, apartments. Oh, apartments! Yes. Oh my God! Can I have an apartment? Yes. Yeah. Show me. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll give, you, I'll give you guys my YouTube and Instagram, and you guys can follow, like, subscribe, and message me on there. Can you take a picture? Of course you can. Yeah. Yes, that's me. Yes. Lebanon? Yeah, yeah, I was in Lebanon before. Mm. Yeah. Hello, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Guys, I'm gonna have no money left. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, let's settle the bill then, guys. How much do we owe you? What's the damage? Finish. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try not to get fat. Alright, guys. See you, man. Take care. See you, brother. Take care. Bye, guys. Have a good day. See you. Bye. Thank you. Bye, guys. All right, guys, that was uh, awesome to meet these uh, friendly, friendly locals here in Philippines. And one thing I've loved everywhere I've gone, the energy of the people here in the Philippines are, it's just electric. Everyone is always happy here. Like, I'm yet to find one person that is not in a, let's say, in a bad mood. Everyone will just smile at you. Doesn't matter what time of the day or wherever you are in the city or on the outbacks, it's all kind of smiles here in the Philippines. And that's one thing I must say. Uh, is something I've not seen around the world. So guys, if you're wondering what time this market is actually open and closing, it's from 10 in the morning until 2 p.m. every Saturday here in Makati in the South Cedo area. If you just put in Google Maps, South Cedo um, weekend market or Saturday market, it should come up in Google Maps. And I'd probably recommend getting here for around, probably as soon as they open around 10 a.m. because A, it's gonna be not that hot, it will be just perfect. And two, a lot of the vendors will also still be open because when I got here, it was around 1, 1 p.m.-ish around that time and a lot of the guys were slowly, slowly packing up for the day. All right, guys, it's time to go get some rest now. So guys, this here behind us is the Manila Cathedral and honestly, it feels like I'm not even in the um, Philippines anymore. I honestly feel like I'm kind of in like a Rome type of yeah. building, right? Yeah, it's got some beautiful architecture and a very, very peaceful area because right opposite it, you've got this gorgeous like little chill out park area where you can just relax in. Um, but yeah, overall super cool place and let's keep going and checking more of the area out. Guys, so this area here was actually established by the Spanish in 1571. Very long time ago. How oh, cool is that, isn't it? So guys, we're just stopping off at this Le Cathedral Cafe to grab a coffee, just so we can get the energy levels up. And wow, it looks really nice. One thing I realized in this area specifically is a lot of the buildings have got that really European Spanish influence and you can just see it all around. Absolutely gorgeous. Very, very nice. Wow, not sure if this is a... Uh, I've just walked into another country. Literally just changed up big time. Look at these gorgeous buildings. Wow. Guys, it looks like we're just walking through a super local area here. You've got the hens going off and uh, small little market stalls everywhere. A little bit of... coming home from school. Yeah, what time is it? It's four o'clock. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. A very hustle and bustly type of area. Little markets. So, so pretty. Past this uh, white building here, it's called Cabildo. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Oh, but it says Casablanca. That's quite interesting. So it looks like they've got like a Moroccan vibe here. 
And uh, I'm understanding why they've coloured it white because we just came back from Morocco. Casablanca was actually all coloured in white. Wow, super cool. So as you can see guys, we've got these little uh, market stalls. We've even got the little cats running around. Nice and busy. guys so we've actually finally made it to the area of walled city here and as you can imagine the reason why they call it that is because this whole area itself has this massive wall that stone dates walls. or stone wall that actually dates back hundreds of years ago so quite interesting the last time i saw something <laughs> like this was actually over in lahore pakistan they also have their version of walled city which was really really interesting but here it is big big stones from hundreds of years ago guys look at that it's amazing yeah I think these are the very same walls that protected um, the Filipino people from all the invaders yeah and, and natural disasters and wars yeah it's, it's interesting they've even got the uh, old cannons over there that the Spanish people used yeah. to use let's see if we can get close to one yeah let's go Seems like quite a chilled out spot here, everyone's just coming, chilling all the uh, kids after school here, coming and playing some ball. So pop some history. Yeah. Who needs a history lesson when you can just walk into history? <laughs> here it is guys, check it out. Old school cannons, old school cannons that were here hundreds of years ago. Looks like the Spanish have still kind of left it and hasn't even been touched. Maybe a little bit touched up, but these are basically located all around. And let's see what they're actually facing. If you look right through there, there we go. Let's get a better view from it up here, guys. Everyone just chilling there. So now they've actually turned the uh, other side of the walled city into a golf course. So if you're into golf, guys, any of the Filipino guys watching this, you play golf, let me know. Hit me up, I'll shoot some rounds with you guys. We've even got a university which is literally right opposite the walled city called Mupuya University. So guys, if you go there, let me know in the comments below. Maybe you're even here somewhere. And I like how the kids here are just chilling and talking to each other instead of sitting on the phones. Yeah. Way to go. How is the life in the middle? So here it is guys, there's that university we was talking about, all the students just down there and uh, literally is packed with students this place. Maybe we should go check it out, let me know in the comments guys if we should go show that area for you guys. Alright guys, we're going to go check out this place here that's called Paper Cup. Had some good reviews on Google, looks really cool and grab some, probably like a frappuccino or something just to cool down. It's so hot outside. Hi, how are you? Well, guys we're just gonna grab a cup of coffee here because outside was getting really really hot honestly did not expect it to be this hot here in Manila I thought now like the season starts in terms of it being much more cooler um, but I was not expecting the humidity but anyway let's get a fresh coffee and chill out 